Moving on, an online investigation group, Fake Reporter, revealed a loophole in a popular smartphone fitness app that was recently apparently exploited by hackers to track members of the Israeli security forces as they moved around the country's often secretive military bases and elsewhere. According to the reports, the hackers used the so-called Strava app to create preset running routes at Israeli army bases and security sites that, when selected, if I understand this right, would provide their location, even if they had their security settings at the highest level. So to get into this story, we're joined by Mike Weitzman, tech blogger and IT journalist, joining us here from Ashdod. Uh, Mike, thanks for being with us uh, again here. Just how serious is this type of breach or in this story? How, how serious does this appear? Uh, first of all, let, allow me to relax. There are recent years lately. Uh, actually, the breach was discovered. It's actually discovered and published by his Israeli blogger that uh, he still remains anonymous. However, it's not uh, another spy uh, okay. who was tracking. Uh, it's actually the. It's in the same source the fake reporter discovered the Israeli blogger that actually discovered the latest uh, uh, the latest breach in the 2018 from the same app uh, the other breach uh, that actually discovered the United States base uh, secret bases in Yemen and Syria. Wow. Uh, it's not the first time we hear about Strava mm -hmm. here, but actually uh, counts about 90 million of users and the runners around the world, about 160 countries. Uh, now it's exploitation of uh, some feature inside Strava uh, that named uh, segments uh, that can you can add GPS coordinates, uh, not just from the app, but uh, just coordinates from GPS inside the app. And uh, someone was intently like running uh, not realistically, but <laughs> near secret bases. And this feature is supposed to uncover people that uh, used to be running there, not just friends, okay. but uh, it uncovered about uh, 100 executives and officers My, inside Israel. You mentioned this isn't the first time that there's been a scandal around this app. I think it was a year ago also. There was another uh, scandal that emerged about even tracking some Shin Bet uh, internal security people as they traveled abroad to countries that they weren't openly traveling to, but how did uh, this? How did this app stay out there? Then? Uh, yeah. The feature we uh, it's uh, it was uh, 2018. Uh, it's a heat map yeah. of uh, Strava that discovered those. Uh, well, how did it not get blacklisted? In other words, or like red flagged to this app? I mean, how's it still out there? How's it still on the phones of soldiers in sensitive sites? The last time Strava just suggested to opt out for uh, military executives. Okay. Um, there, I'll just remind you, 2018, there was a new regulation considering smart watches and right. smart uh, phones uh, used on secret bases, and it wasn't supposed to be, but uh, people tend to forget and to be sure. easy on that. Well, I know that the IDF already, you know, confiscates phones going into sensitive areas, heavy missions, war zones. It's been going on for years now, knowing the, the risks inherent with the GPS trackers, and possibly in soldiers' pockets. But this feels like it's becoming commonplace, these, these types of low-scale hacks. Is it just getting harder to protect us with all the access our, our, our phones give us to the wider world? We are talking about the OSINT world, uh, open source intelligence, but uh, the people should be aware that uh, everything we do is tracked. And uh, we do should opt out and be aware everything we do can be yeah. tracked by uh, not just hackers, just people who's curious about it, like in this case. <laughs>